Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am doing something that I've never done before. And hopefully, it's a win and not a fail. So I got this idea because I've been seeing a lot of videos online of turning a sheet cake, something really simple you find from the grocery store, into a beautiful wedding cake. And I thought, one, I wanna try that. So I might make a video trying to do that. But two, I was up late at night, got me thinking, I thought, oh, could you make a beautiful wedding cake from an Easy Bake Oven? And some of you may be asking, Ro, is this a sponsored video from Easy Bake? And the answer is no, absolutely not. It should be Easy Bake. If you like to give me a ring, feel free anytime. I've done some math and I'm gonna need to make a bunch of cakes because here's the pan size. Look how small the cakes are. I've baked with these before and the desserts that you make are really small because it's a very small heat space. So I'm gonna be needing to make a lot of cakes. So you guys, this video is going to be hashtag ridiculous. I can't wait for this. If you like silly ideas like this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right. Right. Now, whew, without further ado, let's get started. Just like box cake that you buy at a store, Easy Bake has its own cake mixes. So I bought a bunch of these because I know I'm gonna have to make a lot of cakes. I went ridiculous with it. It's a, I got a lot, there's a bunch. Here we go, here we go. I got all these cake mixes. You know at weddings where you get to pick your favorite cake flavor? Well, um, Easy Bake only has two flavors, so I hope it's one of the two. We have red velvet, and strawberry. So maybe I'll make them different tiers or something like that. Pretty easy here. Just we're gonna pour the mix into a bowl. Now we're gonna add four teaspoons of water. So this is a two teaspoon, so we need two scoops. With a small spatula, I'm just gonna mix together. Oh, there we go, that's that red velvet cake. Got a greasy little pan so your cake doesn't stick. We're gonna scoop the batter onto the pan. First cake, ready to go. Okay, so I've preheated the oven. I'm sticking it in here, and then I press in till here. Now I gotta set a timer. It's gonna bake for 16 minutes and then it cools for five. Oh, geez. I'm gonna be doing this all day. Start. Okay, the timer is going and while this is cooking, I'm actually, I'm gonna make more batter but I'm also gonna get some more easy bake ovens because this is gonna take me forever. Okay, so let me go get some more. Let's plug these in. Okay, and that's on. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm opening a bakery, like I'm getting my Easy Bake Oven commercial kitchen going. I'm gonna get efficient. I'm gonna get a big bowl and I'm gonna combine multiple packets. Strawberry, red velvet, frosting, sprinkles. I'm gonna open them all up. Red velvet, strawberry. There was nothing easy about this. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's do some math. I've got 19 packets of red velvet cake mix. They each need two teaspoons. So that's 76 teaspoons, which is a cup and a half. Boom, we need a cup and a half of water for all of these packets. Let's do that first. I'm gonna open all these, get all the cake mix in the bowl, then we need a cup and a half of water. That's why baking is a science. Boom, little math today. That was a lot of math actually. Wasn't thinking I was gonna be doing that much math today. Let's get these going. Look at all this, holy smokes. This is the most easy bake cake I have ever seen. Okay, now we're gonna add some water. All right, we got a cup and a half. And I'm gonna keep a little bit more water. Even in the instructions for this cake batter, it says that if it's a little bit dry, add a few more drops of water. So in this case, I might need to add another tablespoon, but this is looking good. The math was correct. This is looking amazing. Also, our first cake is done baking and now it's cooling in this chamber. And then we're gonna have our first cake. I'm gonna grease these pans. Spread the grease around. Nice and even. I'm gonna just scoop batter in there. Every tray is gonna get two scoops. Then you're just gonna smooth it flat and they're ready to bake. Let's toss these in the ovens. Here they go. One here, one here. Okay, I gotta move this down. Oop. Uh oh. Okay, code red. I put them in the wrong side. Um, oh, got it, got it. Okay, oh good. This one didn't go in that far. Okay, it goes in this side. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oops. And then in to here, yeah. Cakes in the oven, cakes out of the oven. Hi. Oh, 
It's happened, here is our first cake. It is baked, it is cooled, and I'm gonna pop it out of this pan and keep filling these cakes up. I'm gonna put these on a cutting board. Okay, here we go, here we go. Please be a cake, please be a cake. Okay, first cake done. Now just 25, 30, 40, 50, 60 more to go. <laughs> so I'm gonna use all of this red velvet batter until it's gone. I'm gonna get a great arm workout today. Whoop, okay, another one goes in. Boom. Just finished baking all of the red velvet cakes. The last few are cooling over here and now I'm gonna start on the strawberry cakes. We have 20 packets. They each need five teaspoons a piece, which is 100 teaspoons. So that is two cups of water. Hopefully the math is right. Whoa! No, we know it's right. Okay, let's do this. Sometimes when I'm baking, it's about the details. It's about precision and decorating. Today, it's about endurance. This is endurance training, everyone. Gotta do a lot of things a lot of times. I've actually gotten a lot of requests to do a 24 hours baking challenge, and I think I'm unintentionally gonna be doing that today. This is gonna take forever. <gasps> hey, Mom, we're making a wedding cake today with Easy Bake Cakes. Mom, anything is possible. Yeah! All of the strawberry cake mix is ready and it smells like a strawberry milkshake. Now it's time, we're gonna add two cups of water. It's a different measurement than last time because for the strawberry packets, it wants five teaspoons. And for the red velvet cake mix, it only needed four teaspoons a packet. All the strawberry cake batter is ready to bake. Gonna scoop again, two scoops into this pan. This batter is more smooth, it's a little easier to work with, I really like that. Pop it in here, 16 minutes, boom, start. Okay, let's get these other cakes going right away. You guys know the deal, we've got a bunch of these to make. All right, so I'm gonna see you guys in a couple hours. <laughs> So here is all of the Easy Bake Oven cakes that I have made. I have spent my day, entire day, baking mini cakes and I have no regrets. After I bake them, I let them cool, I pop them into the freezer for just a little bit to hopefully make things easier and now I am going to stack them together, frost them, and carve so that they'll look like a cute little wedding cake. That's my plan anyways. My goal is to make a three-tiered cake and the red velvet cake recipe seems to be a little bit more dense than the strawberry, so I'm gonna use this one as the base because that's the biggest cake, and then I might do this for the second tier. Okay, so I'm gonna move some of these out of the way. Got a little cutting board over here, and I'm gonna put down a piece of parchment paper so that it won't stick. And here goes nothing. I'm gonna take a little cake, place it down, and I'm gonna see how many of these I need. I think I'm gonna need six. Here's a 10 inch round cake pan. I'm just seeing, per you know what? Perfect. Six as a base. And I'm gonna put down a little cake plate now that I know that's the right shape. And I'm gonna layer these like so. Can you see that? I've got my first layer on. I'm gonna do a really thin layer. I mean, it's like thin little glue just to hold this together. This kind of reminds me of making pedophore cakes. They're these little French cakes that have a bunch of layers. Whoa, even fancier, a pedophore wedding cake. I mean, that's Pretty fancy. Now I'm adding the next layer and I'm just gonna keep doing this till I get the height of the cake for the bottom tier. They've only been out of the freezer for a few minutes and they're already getting a little bit softer than I'd like, so I might have to pop them back in. I'm hoping to get this tier done before I have to do that though, we'll see. Eee! Okay, the first tier is looking good. It's more like a pedophore cake, like I said, only a pedophore. This is a peta 
Seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Head of seven. And now I'm gonna use this to carve out the shape and I've just cut out the bottom of the pan size onto a little piece of parchment paper to make it a little bit easier so I wouldn't have to carve around this big pan. And I'm gonna place it on the top. Oh my gosh, I mean, it just fits. Whoo, wish me luck. I'm gonna try to hold this together and hope that the cakes are cold enough to not fall apart. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna start carving. And if you've never carved before, it really helps if the cakes are they're cold, they're less crumbly. Okay, so far we're holding together. This is good news. And look, when you bite in for a slice, fancy little layers, very decadent. I'm making my wedding cake with circle tiers. You can do whatever shape you'd like, but this is how I love wedding cakes. But I've seen people do all, all shapes. All right, I'm just gonna keep working around, trying to make this smoother and smoother. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I think I'm gonna pop this in the freezer while we start our next tier. For our second tier of wedding cake, I'm gonna use the strawberry cakes, and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before with the first tier with the red velvet. Again, I've got a little cake plate in front of me. It's an eight inch. I put a little frosting on there, so I'm gonna try once again. I'm gonna stack them up, ice in between, and then carve. Okay, these are frozen. <laughs> oh, oops. Let's just stick them right on there. It feels like there's more moisture in this recipe. It's harder to get them apart. They don't like this. Ah! Okay, put a little icing on the top. And fingers crossed these hold together because they are not as dense as the red velvet and they have a little bit more moisture. They're a little bit more floppy, but they do have a cake plate for support. So I'm hoping that that works. All right, only six more layers to go. Let's get started. with you guys, she is a bridezilla. She is barely hanging on by a thread for her wedding day. I had to throw her in the freezer to set up again. There's too much moisture in the cake. It's very delicate. I'm not sure if it can hold the weight. There is a cake plate. We're just, we're just, you know, crossing our fingers and hoping for the best. And sometimes that happens on your wedding day. A snag happens and you just gotta get through it, but we're committed. So that second tier is going to be strawberry. And well, she takes a break, you know, cause she needs a minute. I'm gonna work on the top tier, which is our smallest tier. I think it's a six inch tier. I've got a little cake plate here and I'm gonna build on top of it. And we're gonna move back to the red velvet. And I did not know what I was doing when I was making this video and if I could could do it all again, I would only use the red velvet cake. It is structurally more sound. It's more dense and it just works better. I'm gonna put a little icing here on the cake plate. This one's a little smaller, so I'm only gonna be stacking three cakes. I'm doing two on top of each other and then one for this side. Boop, just like that. Stack them, ice, stack, ice, stack, ice, stack, ice, stack, ice, stack, ice, boom. I just took our strawberry pink cake out of the freezer. She sat in there for a while, still kind of a squishy hot mess, but we're gonna do our best to carve her. So I'm just gonna start on the edges like I did the other cake, and hopefully this is going to work. Let's take a look, even though she's squished. Oh, gorgeous. I mean, even though the texture is very squishy and delicate, beautiful cut. Look at that, Mike. That looks fancy. I'm gonna move this over, because I can see the edge is right there. And we're just gonna try to follow it without it falling apart. Might be a little bit smaller, that's okay. This is working okay, and I'm just gonna keep carving the cake until it's more circular. And once I'm done carving this cake, I'm gonna carve the smaller cake. The cakes are carved, and now it's time to ice. I'm gonna start by icing our biggest tier first. I've plopped it on top of a turntable to hopefully make this a little bit easier. And I'm gonna be icing a few layers on each tier, cause it's very crumbly. <laughs> All right, so I've just got some buttercream icing over here. I'm gonna start at the bottom, and and work my way around. I'm gonna ice a thin crumb coat layer on first. This is the most delicate I've ever iced a cake because structural integrity is 
sensitive. After I get this crumb coat on, I'm gonna put a crumb coat layer on all of the tears, let them chill for a second, and then we're gonna put on the pretty layer. It's a little uneven, but I can even that out with icing, so I'm not so worried about that. I'm just really trying to be gentle. You're so pretty, just stay together. Okay, I'm not mad about it. We got our crumb coat, it's looking crummy, just like it's supposed to. <laughs> I'm gonna let this chill and then do the same thing to our other two cakes. Then we got our crumb coat and now I'm gonna put on the pretty coat, the top coat. I've decided that this wedding cake is going to be rustic and classic. Rustic because that's what the icing's gonna look like. And classic, I'll add a little decorations. For the pretty layer, we're just putting on another coat of icing and I'm gonna try to cover all the crumbs. Okay, no crumbs. That's what the goal is. And if not, remember you guys, it's rustic. Not quite a naked cake, but maybe it will be. <laughs> got pretty dang good. Ice the top. Just gotta cover all the crumbs, cover all the crumbs, cover all the crumbs. What crumbs? Normally I would spend a while perfecting this, but I'm trying to get this wedding cake done by the end of today, you know, for a wedding. So uh, <laughs> now to give it a little rustic design touch, I'm gonna be using the end of my spatula and ever so gently making rings around the sides of the cake. Like so, you just place down and really gently push and go all the way around. The turntable really helps. It just gives you that control. And I don't wanna take off too much icing and now I'm just gonna go up, go all the way around. The lines are not supposed to be perfectly even. They're supposed to look rustic. I think that's the best way to go with this cake. Rustic's great because if it gets a little messy, it's like it was designed to. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And I'll do a little swirl up here too. Boom, my look done. Oh, gorgeous, love it. Okay, now I just gotta transfer it. I'm gonna tuck right under here, tuck right under here. You just gotta be fearless and just go for it, you know? Boom! I think this is the biggest cake ever made in an Easy Bake Oven, but I think we could go bigger. Now I'm gonna ice the other two tiers in the same way. When putting together tiered cakes, you always want structural support. And that's why I put cake plates on the bottom of each tier, because you're gonna put these little jobbers in between the layers to help the cakes not sink into each other, especially because this cake is very squishy. I don't think she could handle much today. She's very sensitive. So what I'm gonna do is eyeball it. I'm gonna place a lot of these into our big cake and you push them down and then you pull up just a little bit and then cut. I'm using boba straws because I have a bunch of these around the house, but for cake dowels, you can use just about anything. They have plastic reusable ones that my mom uses. They have wooden dowels. So whatever you got in your kitchen, you can even use straws. Now I'm just gonna need a lot of straws. Okay, let's put a bunch of these in. Usually I just put in five a day, not so much. We're putting in a bunch. Okay, hopefully she'll hold up. Now the terrifying part, transferring a cake. I usually use one of these. We'll offset spatula, get it on there. Oh, gee, she's moving. Oh no, I went too far. Oh gee, I went into the cake. This is not good. No, we got this. Okay, I'm gonna put the ugly side back here because we have now have an ugly side. Oh gosh, whatever I do, don't drop this. Put her down. Woo! <laughs> yes! We just have to fill in a little icing here in the back, but other than that, Mike, I did it. 
I'm proud. Okay, now we just need one more. Okay, for our last tier, again, we're gonna put in a lot of structural support here at the top. We need a steady, sturdy cake. Woo! Oh, geez, here we go. I'm gonna hype myself up. Woo, we got this, got this. Go underneath, and we're up, and we're up, and we're up, and we're up, and we're... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god, she's a beaut. You guys, rustic wedding cake achieved. Now I'm gonna add some classic details around the bottom of the cakes to cover those cake boards, make it a little bit more pretty, and I'm gonna add some flowers. wedding cake that I made in an easy bake oven. I cannot believe this actually worked. It did take a while. It took a lot of time to make all the little cakes and put it together, but it's awesome. I'm like kind of shocked that this is holding together. For decoration, all I did was get some flowers at the store. I love roses. My name, Rosanna, means graceful rose. They're my favorite flower and I think that they're so romantic. So I love seeing them on wedding cakes. Now these flowers are a little larger than I was hoping, but this is all they had at the store. So the roses are a bit big for the cake, but I gotta say, this is a cute, rustic cake. It is not bad. My mind is blown. I didn't know if this is gonna work or not, and it's actually holding up. I had a lot of concerns about the strawberry layer because it's very soft. I'm obsessed. We did it! Mom, look! Anyways, this was so much fun. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And please let me know in the comments down below what video would you like to see next? Because I am trying a whole bunch of fun <laughs> things this year. I took some cute pictures and now I get to have a slice. Let's give this cake a try. Okay, I've gotta move some of this cute little topper right here. And here we go. Woo! Oh no, the rose! <laughs> there we go, gotta take the whole topper off. <sighs> it's so funny, cause you can see the layer, like the two cakes coming together in the middle. Let's give it a taste. This is unreal, this is really good. Whoa, okay, I'm impressed. This worked out way better than I thought it actually would and it is still holding together, so wow. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. You almost can't see, this cake is so tall. <laughs> All right, bye.